All right, Uber Lab is here. I had some requests to do this, so I should be able to run this one the whole way through. Um, anyway, this is going to be my first kukri I'll be making. The uh, six inch blade. And I'm going to not make this a drawn out like my like instructional videos on the grinding a flat blade. Kind of just going to show bits and pieces of each part so it ain't so long and drawn out because I know that isn't entertaining for many people, just people that are trying to see different techniques and stuff and just learn different things how different people do with things so anyway I'm just gonna go through quick starting out here with template templates not dead on what I want mainly the blade shapes just about there handle shapes close and down near the bottom of the handle and up in here as I'm grinding it out I'll shape it to where where it looks good when it's gone but basically start my template here and uh Scribe it out. I got blue dicum on the uh, on the steel already. If you watch my video the other day. This is A2 tool steel, pretty much what I use. I've used other steels, but I find this is my favorite steel. So for most applications, never mind the uh, sump pump there over in the corner. It's been raining out here last couple days basically this is a carbide tip scribe here I'm using it's got electrical tape on it kind of cushions a little bit because it's just the whole back of it's steel and then a tungsten carbide right there so that's what I use the scribe he's in with Sometimes I scratch it two or three times. This spot, yeah, it feels like the tip of this chipped a little bit. So I have to get a uh, diamond sharpener out and just hit this up a little bit. It's gonna be rough because I chipped the tip right when I right after I started, but there we go. I scrubbed out like that. Once I get a much nicer bandsaw, I can uh, get some bimetal blades and actually cut most of the profile out. I was thinking of maybe wire EDMing some of them, but you see that scribed on there. I'm gonna see if I can saw this mostly on an angle to save steel and save grinding off a big corner. And debating on that's gonna be a pain in the ass to saw because A2 is a tough steel. It's this is fully annealed. That's how it comes rolled out. It's as soft and easy as work with as it's possibly ever gonna get, and oh, it's a bitch. I'm like top quality bimetal hacksaw blades and stuff they just wear out like right away it doesn't cut them too good so I don't know if I'm gonna cut all this big hunk of meat off right there or grind away at it I don't know yeah, I'm debating on that but we'll get into that in the next part of the video I'm just gonna just bounce in each step here so I don't have a too long of a video alrighty Got this thing here, uh, sold out as best I can. You can see, I can see the reflection here. This isn't the back angle of the blade, you can see I left more of a point here, but I had to go happy medium of like shortest cut to that. So, back the angle off just a little bit, make it a little easier to cut, and that nub right there will grind off easy. My biggest problem is going to be getting all this stuff out of here. And I went, same kind of idea there. Took a good cut where I could take out a good chunk of metal here. You know, and there's still a good bit to grind off, mainly that point there. But that gives me a fairly good happy medium of not sawing too much and grinding too much. So, 
I'm gonna get on to uh, profiling here on the ground. All right, I just started in on the profiling here. A couple seconds ago. I got the belt going pretty fast right now. I just got a lot of stuff to get rid of, and there's it's a big hunk of steel, so it can soak up some of the heat good. Dipping it in the water here. Helps out a lot. I don't know if I can see through the camera. I'm going to go in here, but here's the back. And that hump right there. Got that. You see it steam coming off of there. Slowed it down uh, 20%, not on 20%, turned it down 20% lower than it was. Less heat, but it seems like the grit's digging in deeper. It actually looks like the metal's being removed faster. Uh, it's kind of a guessing game on that. Still getting real hot though. a little bit of digging into the area right here and then I'll kind of work this up and then show the next step after that. Once I cool down the spot I have to the spot I have to grab onto here. I'll be holding it on the back side where it's just grinding making it hot. If I dig corners in like that that way I can keep grinding right now while the other hot spots are pulling down. Just plunge straight in and take these notches. I've done quite a bit of this with this belt that's on here now. So the very edges of the belt are fairly worn, so it's not cutting nearly as good. I might swap to another belt. The middle of it. That's a good bit of wear, but it's still cutting pretty good. Pretty much I'm going to do this. If I can get all that. I'm going to look behind the camera here so I can see the reflection. Have my fingers up in a nice safe area. Where this all dips into the handle here and comes up to the blade, get rid of all this steel in here. I'm gonna put them notches in. Kinda of makes it go a little faster. You can just keep working across all the notches while the last one's cooling down and they're all cooling down and when you get to the one end you go back to the other end and lets everything cool and you're con you know, other than moving a little bit to the next notch, you're pretty much constantly grinding. It's a pretty nice technique. I like using it. Give it a quick dip, didn't cool down too much, but down the end where I'm starting over again. Like that. I just keep doing this here. So notches at certain spots. 
turn this off a second. Uh, turn off my dust button. Keep doing that there pretty much. I'll take the notches down, like here's the hump in the middle of the handle. When the notches get close to that, I'll stop doing these notches. Take these ones in a little further and then up in the other pop, top part of the handle, I'll keep taking them deeper and keep taking them all deep till they get close to where they're going to finish and then I'll go in and grind it till it's a smooth profile. But that's that and I'll uh, get back to you when the profile's pretty much done and on to another part. Still really rough on the roughing end. See it more smooth in here at the uh, by the blade. Still got a little bit to come out, and that got a lot smoother. So I'm just trying to get the profile to where I want. I might leave a little thicker down there. You can see on the handle here how it's choppy. So I'm just gonna show some of uh, taking that out. not the finished handle shape but I'm still gonna sculpt this bottom around to where I want it to be but let's see how I got a lot smoother now but uh putting them notches in let me get a lot of metal taken out of there fairly quickly so that's where we're at now it's close to being profiled in it's close to being a blank <laughs> not even a blank yet that's where I'm at right now